silhouettes on family trees. I'm Kelly Mitchell. We are here today with the beautiful and fabulous Remy Cohen, the CEO of Domain Carneros. We're and talking today about the brand new release, their rosé called Avant Garde. So we're going to be talking about solar power and solar power winemaking, along with the inspiration and how they've been doing so many amazing things here in Carneros with sustainability. So Remy, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited to see you. It's been a while. It has been. And uh, not only is this like one of the most picturesque spots in Napa Valley, but it's also one of the most enchanting and romantic. So I really love it. And thank you for welcoming me back. Happy to have you. Uh, thank you. So I wanted to ask you, how do you, does Domain Carneros produce solar-powered wine, and what's involved in the process? So our 2023 rosé is powered by the sun, and what that means is that in 2003, Domain Carneros installed the largest solar array of any winery in the world at the time. It turned out to be a prototype for many other solar arrays that were installed at wineries around the world. Fast forward 20 years later, in 2023, we like to say we amped up our commitment to solar energy um, by doubling the capacity of our solar generation and also connecting the entire system to a microgrid. So we added a car part with electric vehicle charging, we added ground mounts, and then all of the original panels and these new panels are connected to a battery so that excess energy that's generated during the day can be stored in the battery and used during peak demand and peak cost at night. And also we can island in the event of a power outage. So this is power savings. You're not putting extra effort on the grid and you're also saving money and being more efficient. Exactly, one of the key takeaways from the project is that while solar energy requires a significant investment up front, mm -hmm. that generally there is a direct ROI return on investment, not only in the fact that we're reducing our reliance on energy, um, we are generating our own renewable energy, um, but also that we're expecting the cost savings to manifest within about 10 years or maybe even earlier knowing how PG&E rates have been changing. I love that. Yeah. So talking to the consumer, how will this consumer feel the impact of this or will they? Well, I think so. I think um, those people who are our members and, and close to Domain Carneros know that we have a mission of living lightly on the land. Um, this is another step towards um, you know, reducing our carbon footprint. It's something that we are proud of being pioneers in the microgrid technology, and it's technology that we hope that other wineries and other businesses will be able to adopt over time. Absolutely, and it's amazing to see. I mean, you guys have long been the leaders in this sort of effort, so um, kudos to that. What would you say to some of the others out there that are looking you know, from outside some of the other wineries, mm -hmm. you know, how, what are some of the first steps they need to do to get on board with something like this? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's a lot more resources out there now uh, because this technology is becoming more common. People are using it at, um, in their homes as well as other businesses. So we're happy to be a resource for other wineries if they're interested. Um, also contact your solar provider or a solar provider in your area, and I'm sure they'll be happy to come out and talk about the technology. And don't forget that magic buzzword is microgrid. Yes. Um, because you can <laughs> reuse the power the way I understand it. So you're actually capturing yes. it and holding it. So during a beautiful sunny day, we're generating more energy than we are using here at the winery. So we can store that excess energy on the battery and use it in the evenings That's during brilliant. peak demand and peak energy cost. I love that. Um, what kind of impacts are you seeing on the bottom line of your energy usage? So the overall system is going to account for about 75 to 85% of our energy needs. Um, we're still refining that because we are working on the parameters for charging and discharging seasonally okay. since winemaking has different demands as the year progresses. Um, and we're still pretty new to the technology, but we are looking at at least 75%, if not more, based on the parameters that we develop over time. That's thrilling. That is absolutely thrilling. Yeah. Are what? there any additional ones Well, that you I think? think it's great that the renewable energy reduces your overall carbon footprint as a business. Yeah. And that's something that I think resonates with a lot of people these days. Um, it's something that we're proud of and we want to continue to push the envelope towards and all the evaluating all the different practices that we do. I love that. 
Now, you're always ahead of the curve in sustainability <laughs> initiatives and then some. What are you working on for your next sustainable initiative? Well, we always have a few different things in the works. Um, let's see, some of the projects that we're really focusing on, one right now is uh, recycling single-use plastics, so shrink wrap for pallets, oh, wow. label backings. Um, there's more opportunities now and facilities for recycling that type of plastic. And so we're evaluating the best way in order to both collect and transport the single-use plastics. And that'll help us get even closer towards our goal of having zero waste. Um, another project that we are working on is becoming um, what we call our digital future, um, becoming paper free here in the, oh at the winery. Goodness. So we've been working on digitizing processes such as our purchase orders, um, our wine club data collection forms, things like that um, for our digital future. That, and, um, so. At Domain Carneros, we have four pillars to our strategic plan and one of them is sustainability. And um, every three years we set new one, three and five year strategic goals related to sustainability. So some, those are some of the goals that uh, we're working towards now. Where do some of the ideas come from for this? Because it's, I mean, some of this yeah. stuff is so on the cutting edge or the bleeding edge even. Yeah, I mean, some of it's really simple and some of it's really complex and it comes from all different team members. And that's what's so exciting about how we structure our strategic planning here. There's many different stakeholders that are involved in the strategic plan and they support the four different pillars. Um, it's interesting, one of our most successful and also highest ROI sustainability initiatives is our packaging reuse. I think you know about that project yes. that we have. So basically all the cardboard boxes that we pack wine into, when we break those down to ship a bottle or two bottles or guests take them home for from the winery, we now carefully um, break those packages open, then break them down, bring them back downstairs and rebuild them and rebottle into them. And so we've wow. saved millions of dollars and millions of trees, basically millions of packages um, over the last decade. And it was an idea of one of our um, folks on the bottling line who does a little a lot of the procurement. Yeah. She was the one who came up with the idea and we tracked it over time and we really can um, see the ROI on that investment. Have you guys looked into the reuse of bottles? At we, we have. Um, we're staying close in touch with that technology because we do find it interesting. Sparkling wine adds an extra layer of complexity because of the very specific bottles that you need to use and the durability with the bottles. Right. Um, one of the main things we've been focusing on right now is what now has become uh, a verb of lightweighting your bottles. Yes. So we've been trialing lighter weight um, bottles, which is only feasible to a certain degree with sparkling wine, because again, with the contents under pressure, you need a certain level of durability, but we've been able to reduce the bottle weight by about 10%, which impacts the entire shipping process and logistics process. Okay, well, we better food. try this avant-garde yes, rosé from the it. Pinot Noir. <laughs> Powered Works. by the sun. It's really delicious. You might be the first person to try it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's exciting. And you guys can be the first to try it too. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. That was fun. <laughs> Silhouettes of family trees. One for you and one for me. Cause boy, it's so.